Okay, King Ghidorah, let's see you in action. I just realized it's actually a wyvern. Wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, Godzilla's got his tail. Oh, if we look at the health, we can see that Godzilla is actually winning this fight. But, oh, no. Oh, no way. King Ghidorah has won. Welcome back to another Animal Revolt Battle Simulator video. The first suggestion here is to upgrade the werewolf. Now, I hate to say it, but this is probably the worst looking unit on the game. It looks like absolute trash, but I think it works pretty well. I'm pretty sure the werewolf is pretty powerful, but let's just go ahead and upgrade him and see just how much damage he can do to the people in this castle right here. Let's see if we can make him take it over. He's looking pretty good so far, but I am going to add some extra arms to him. That way he can do some extra damage. So let's put one on this side. Does that work? Yeah, I'm sure that will work. Okay, and then go to the other side. We'll do the same again. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Okay, I think we are ready to start the fight. But before we do, make sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, the werewolf will be in your nightmares. Here we go. Let's see what this is like. It looks like the arms are freaking out a little bit there. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Yes, I think the shield on the back actually worked from the archer there. W what is he doing? <laughs> oh, what? It's so weird and so creepy. Yeah, get him. That's it. Nice. So yeah, the great thing about this, this unit right here is he can jump up into the castle pretty easily and he's actually dead. That's fine though. We're just going to add some more upgrades. I reckon that should do the trick and start the fight. Here we go. We got harpoons now as well, which is great. Oh yes, archer down. We also have some ballistas on the top of him right there too. That's going to do a lot of damage to the enemies. Look at him go. The werewolf is so violent and fast. You know what? He did pretty good, but he is dead. So we can't take down all the humans, but let's see if we can take down Goru over here. Why is he? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, why is he not doing anything? Is that in his eye? Very close to it. Come on, werewolf. Oh, oh. that's a big hit right there. Yeah, this is a bit of a mismatch right here. I'm not too sure if my werewolf is actually going to be able to win this battle. It's not looking too good. Oh, big punch. Come on. Oh, oh no. Goru. Although, look at his health. We were very close to killing him. Next suggestion. Day one of asking for a T-Rex full of grappling hooks. So basically, we're just going to add a bunch of harpoons to the T-Rex. And then we're going to make him hunt down all the coals in the area. So we're going to see if we can just kill them all with these. Okay, so we're literally just going to add a bunch of these around the T-Rex. And it's going to look ridiculous. You know what? Honestly, I reckon that would be enough. Let's start the fight and let's see what happens. <laughs> Whoa, it's like they just get... What is that? It's like he's trapped them in there. That looks pretty insane. Oh, he's got an umbrella on him right now. Okay, go get another one. Go. What is he doing? Oh, I, I might have set them to just be on guard and that's it. So if we just make them a little bit closer, now it should work. Oh, here we go. Harpoon's going in. That is crazy. Oh, that went into his mouth as well. I wasn't actually trying to make that happen, but that works pretty good. Oh, they're getting messed up. This thing is insane. Whoa, he got slingshot into a tree. Oh, he got messed up big time there. Ah, oh, <laughs> this is amazing. What a great suggestion. Oh, oh, they're all dead. Yes. Nice. Well, that was fun, but now it's time to move on to the next suggestion, which says day three of asking for Gary upgraded against Goru. Okay, let's see this in action. I don't think we've actually made them fight before, but I'm pretty sure Gary here will unfortunately die. Here we go. Let's find out, shall we? Let's see what happens. Yep, Gary's getting messed up and he is dead. But I'm not actually going to upgrade him anymore today because I'm going to move on to the next suggestion, which says day one of asking to make Gary a son and daughter. Well, it says son or daughter, but I've gone ahead and made both. So check it out. Gary now has a son and a daughter. And also here is Gary's girlfriend, which by the way, in the last episode, I did ask you for name suggestions and the name I've gone for is Lexa. So thank you to this person on screen right now for the name suggestion. 
There we go, Gary and Alexa. Do we name the children? I'm not too sure. But now that they are all together, they can work together as a team to take down Goru. Here we go. This is the first time I've seen the kids in action like this. Will they be able to fight Goru? Let's find out. <laughs> I don't know what the daughter's doing right now. Oh, no. The whole family might die here, which would be a real tragedy. We don't want that to happen. Go on, daughter. <laughs> Get Goru. Oh, no, your wife. Your wife and kids, Gary. Save them. Save them, Gary. How have my Animal Revolt Battle Simulator videos <laughs> come to this? You know what? I'm not complaining, though. This is actually great. This is why I love doing these suggestion videos. <gasps> you did it, guys. Yes. Gary's family have won the fight against Goru. Great job. Great job. <laughs> but we are not done here just yet because the next suggestion says day one of asking to cover Goru in dynamite, basically turning him into a walking nuke. It's very rare that I play around with the dynamite on this game. So I'm actually pretty excited for this. Unfortunately, Gary's family doesn't really stand a chance, but I'm also going to make Goru here go against a bunch of other creatures just to see what happens. Like I said, haven't really used dynamite before, so this should be pretty interesting. Yep, that should do the trick. I've also added some giant dynamite on the back, although I don't think it's going to make a bigger explosion, but let's see what happens here. Fall back, guys. Fall back. It's not worth the fight. Oh, no. Oh! Whoa, Goru. <laughs> Wait, we have a survivor. The daughter has survived. How did you do that? That was actually pretty incredible. I want to see this again. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's so good. How does she keep surviving? I don't get it. Here we have the demon. And let's see if all the dynamite can kill him. I'm going to guess yes. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. Why have I not played with dynamite some more? Why has it taken me this long? Time to watch some hellhounds go flying. Here we go. Get ready and detonate. Yes. There they go. Moving on. Day two of asking Fudgy to have his Godzilla unit versus an upgraded Hydra, aka King Ghidorah. Now, this is a suggestion that I have seen over and over again, and I didn't really do it because I don't think there was really anything on the workshop for King Ghidorah. And uh, now I have one right here, which looks pretty nice. It is a very hard creation to make, I can imagine. By the way, this Godzilla is also from the workshop. They're both from workshop, not my creations, but we're about to see what's going to happen. I have no idea. I've never seen this thing in action. Should be pretty interesting. Okay, King Ghidorah, let's see you in action. I just realized it's actually a wyvern. Wow. Okay, here we go. Oh! Godzilla's got his tail. Oh, no. It's also got guns. Okay, I feel like Godzilla will actually win this fight, but I'm not actually too sure for right now. Yeah, see, Godzilla just has it by the tail. Get out of there! Fly away! That's it. So, in the suggestion, it actually says upgraded Hydra. But, of course, this is not a Hydra. But, I do actually have another workshop creation, which is a Hydra. So, maybe we can also check that out after this. Oh, uh, if we look at the health, we can see that Godzilla is actually winning this fight. But, oh, no! Oh! No way! King Ghidorah has won. To be fair, if it wasn't for, you know, being pushed off the map there, I feel like Godzilla would have definitely won that time. I feel like I'm also pronouncing King Ghidorah wrong. So feel free to correct me in the comment section below. But uh, I think we're okay. Let's, uh, let's try a different one. So this is the Hydra version. <laughs> it is absolutely ginormous. But let's see what it's like against godzilla here we go destroying the sea as they go through as you can see right here we go will godzilla be able to one swipe it oh oh it's pinned down godzilla you see the thing is because of the size of it godzilla just won't be able to get up there's so much weight on godzilla Ghidorah, i think has this one in the bag let's check on the health <gasps> no way i finally have a creation that is far superior to godzilla what? That's crazy. What kind of stats does this thing have? Oh, well, that's why. Look at the stats of it. <laughs> no wonder it's winning. Oh, there we go. Godzilla is dead. Right, let's try End Goru versus K. 
King Ghidorah. Uh, this is interesting. Whoa, big punch from Goru. And King Ghidorah is down. What? I got to say, I have made this guy to be an absolute unit. But can he take on two of them instead? Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Oh, it's getting harpooned. That's definitely going to mess up the flight a bit. One is already down. The other one's still alive, fighting for its life. And it is dead. And Goru is just too overpowered. Will this ancient army be able to take down King Ghidorah over there? Let's start the fight and let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Personally, I think that the army do stand a good chance of actually killing it. I mean, look at the firepower right now. Look what's going on. The archers are just constantly hitting it on the foot as well where there's no armor. So yeah, definitely an interesting one right here. Oh, I thought he picked one of the, uh, the troops up, but... Looks like they're fine. It's coming in around again. Take cover. Hide. Oh, hang on a minute. Look. <laughs> oh, there's a Roman soldier on the tail. Just got whipped around. Poor fella. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, look at the health. He hasn't taken any damage. What? These guys are just being picked off one by one. Getting shredded. Whoa, shield. I mean, to be fair, there is literally a machine gun in its mouth. And there we go. They are all dead. This guy is freaking out. Giant knights, you have been summoned to take down the beasts. What are you... What are you... <laughs> no! Are you kidding me? Bruh. <laughs> well, that didn't last very long at all. How is he still alive over there? Giant lava golem, go! Take him down. Yeah, get... Oh, he did it! Yeah! Nice! Well, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!